you like your money more than you I bet your plastic is always approved You got so much of any time you want You want so much you forget what you want Hi, my name's Kaleo and I'm with Pepper and you're listening to OfficialFanClub.net What's Pepper been up to since last summer? Um, we just got done constructing our studio our own studio called The Hatch uh, we have been recording new tracks for the next album that's going to be released next summer. Uh, we have also oh, scheduled a complete international attack for the next coming two years. So we'll probably be touring until 2013, relatively solid. Uh, of course, we're on the Warp Tour for the summer. We're immediately following it with a headlining tour through the States um, with a band called The Expendables, uh, who are very good friends of ours. Um, also joining us will be a band called Ballyhoo from Baltimore, Maryland, who we have just signed to Law Records, which is our record label. And we are putting their album out on September 6th. Um, and we're looking forward to that as well. Law Record, I had a question about that actually. How did you develop that as, as a record? How did that evolve from well, a record label? Well, Law Records was actually, um, <clears throat> it was started by our drummer's father back in the 80s. He was in a, a really successful rock band called The Law. And they put out their own records on Law Records. So, you know, the names just stayed there and, you know, their businesses, they are not doing anything at all and we just took it over. Then we started to sign bands like Iration, uh, Pacifier, The Super Villains, Ballyhoo, and, you know, eventually us. Are you based out of Hawaii? No, we're based out of California. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you you have a huge following here in Florida, so you must be touring quite a bit here in Florida. Yeah, yeah, we've been touring for the last 10 years here in America. It's been really fun and it's been a great time. And plus, Florida is just great. So, how are you liking the mainland versus Hawaii? I like how you said the mainland. Very good. Uh, the mainland's great. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I miss home every day. We all do, but this is what we do. This is. This is our passion, this is what we want to work in, so we have to kind of be stationed somewhere where we can get to anywhere we need to get to and rather quickly. So that's what prompted your move to California? Yeah. We like to, you know, not genre ourselves, but everyone needs something to call something. Uh, so we usually say it's a Kona dub rock. That is what we definitely call, you know, our, our kind of a scene or style, however it is. As far as um, changing our style, I'm not sure. I think. I think nothing forced will happen with this band. It's just a natural evolution of where we are creatively and where we want to be. You've been cranking out music, five albums, I believe, live DVDs, have been uh, worked uh, multiple times. Yeah, this understand. is our third third year. And I noticed in 2009, Kona Gold was a, a live recording that came yes. out. Was that all music live from Hawaii, the Hawaiian musicians? That, no, Kona Gold is actually just uh, it was interesting. We recorded Kona Gold after a show in Colorado at the Red Rocks. And the next day we played at um, the Fox Theater in Boulder. Mm. And we recorded one show one time, and that was it. And uh, it came out, you know, it came out great. We, we were really pleased with it, and so we wanted to release it. And then there's a Hawaiian, on the Hawaiian Express Records, a Roots Rock Reggae. That was like a collaboration type of an album. I saw Jack Johnson, another Hawaiian artist. Sure, I'm sure that there's a lot of compilations that our music is associated with. However, I can't keep up with all of them. Do you tour with any other of the big um, musicians out of Hawaii, like Jack Johnson? Um, we don't tour with Jack. Um, we do tour with Iration, who is on our record label as well, also from the same island, who is a national act and an incredible band. Um, although uh, I know uh, some good friends of mine, um, their band's name is The Green. They're coming out of Hawaii very strong, so be on the lookout for them. I understand the music of Pepper's been featured in a few movies? Oh yeah, you know, licensings and whatnot, and uh, you know, that's all the business sense. Not necessarily a, everything I pay attention to, however I like to watch what, what happens. But yeah, there's there's been some movies and, and there's been some attention, it's been great. However, I really don't focus on that. I like to focus, you know, primarily on the live shows and the recordings and where I like to keep my head in. That's why we have our, you know, our business aspect of the business there and we have players that need to take care of that. I like to concentrate on the art as much as possible to make sure that nothing gets confused. Do you write your own music? All of us do, yes. Do you work together, kind of collaborate, you know, creatively in the writing process? Song, or? Songwriting happens in every type of way, either on a napkin in a bar or we all sit down, write a music, or 
I'm at my computer and I make a demo, or Brett makes a demo on his computer, or the lyrics come first, or the music come first, or however music visits you, that's what you just have to take. And then however the song comes out, that's how it comes out. I like to take every song on a song to song basis, and not really have any plans, because you can't really plan it. It's just there. If you try to force yourself to sit down to write this amazing piece of music, chances are it's not going to happen. So just let her come and knock on your door. And just, until then, just wait. Music on the Hawaiian radio stations, oh, yeah. like that main, you know, and it's like a reggae. There's like kind of an island music, and there's some traditional Hawaiian music. It's all infused in its own. It's sort called Hawaiian. And. Um, you know, obviously, yeah, I like that. it's Hawaiian, it's reggae taken, and Hawaiian. Pepper's taken off, and, and, and you're big, and you're big here in the mainland. But is our, I always like wish in Florida that there were the radio stations like that. How do we, are there radio stations, are there, are there ways to get the, that Hawaiian music? I um, really think radio is... Um, Notice more here in the mainland, yeah. Radio, radio is a puppet show. It's really, I mean, that's, let's call that what it is. Radio is a puppet show, and they play what they want listeners to hear. And then they automatically make the listener feel that they want to hear that. That's how they do it. And, you know, I don't hate radio. I don't love it. I've never relied on radio. If we get radio play, that's great. Because hopefully someone out there is going to hear something new, and if they like it, cool. And I understand that point. But if you put your faith in radio, then you're really not exploring the most amazing ability of music. And that is going out, seeking it, finding it, hearing it from a friend, all of that. Going on the internet now, we have this amazing super highway that we can just jump on at any time and find any kind of music you want. Pandora, smartest radio station ever made. Yeah, it just group, yeah, it groups the genres. So if you like it, cool. And then you find other bands that you like along the way. That is brilliant to me. Do you have a personal message for your fans that you'd like to impart? I would really just like to say thank you to all of our fans who have given us the most amazing lives. What? It's just mind-blowing how incredible these people are and how good they are to us. It is a true sense of aloha, and it's just amazing. And I can't wait to see you. I bet you like your money more than you I bet your plastic is always approved You got so much of any time you want You want so much you forget what you want